parents just happened to get me a pair of rollerblades when I was, I think, I want to say about three and a half years old, and then it kind of just took off from there. Yeah, I mean, I was in college for uh, all four years at Plattsburgh State, and then I got a chance to come down here at the end of the year, play seven regular season games, and then I think it was seven playoff games, and was fortunate enough to win a cup. Um, definitely a different transformation for sure, but uh, I think I acclimated pretty well, and I think that I uh, fit in with the team pretty well, and, and it was just a lot of fun, and winning a cup is unbelievable. Pretty normal game. Uh, just going back to get the puck, wasn't expecting much, and I just got a nice cross check on the back of the hips. And you know, if you don't play hockey, you uh, probably won't know. But once you hit somebody on their hips like that, they kind of lose balance and you kind of lose control. So I kind of couldn't really do anything besides try to lift my head. So that was kind of the last thing I remember doing was just kind of turning my head, and that's where I broke everything on this side. This side. No doubt that hockey can be a very vicious sport, and when a player is careless, the results can be devastating. Case in point, what happened to Anthony Calabrese of the Norfolk Admirals late last month, playing on the road against the Atlanta Gladiators. Calabrese hit from behind by Tyler Murovich. Calabrese faced first into the board. It broke several vertebrae. He suffered a punctured lung as well. His season is over. After the game, Murovich was suspended indefinitely, and the ECHL then announced that Murovich will be suspended 12 games for what they call careless and reckless. No, I actually, uh, I felt everything. I felt the break, I felt the pop, I felt everything happen, yeah. Um, I was just kind of there. I mean, you could feel the pain just start radiating throughout my body. Um, just kind of, everything was in very slow motion, I would say. Just, you know, when the trainers came up, it just felt like everything was kind of spinning around me and just uh, very slow motion. Just said that, I was pretty fortunate to hear that, that I didn't have to get any surgeries or screws or plates or anything. So I was very, very excited to hear that. But I did not like hearing that I was not going to be able to play for the rest of the year. But uh, I was fortunate enough to be back now. Uh, it is, you know, almost a year now. And uh, I haven't been happier to be back on the ice. I see life a lot differently than I did the first time. Uh, kind of got a second chance at life again and at hockey again. And uh, coming down here to Pensacola and being able to get a fresh start again, um, I won't lie, I was a bit nervous for sure. I mean, uh, I broke my neck and my back. I, you know, the doctor said if I didn't look up, there's a good chance I could have been paralyzed or dead. So uh, yeah, I mean, I get a little, uh, first time on the ice, my balance was a bit off. I was a little like, felt like Bambi almost. <laughs> so I was a little nervous, but uh, no, I'm uh, getting back every day and being on the ice every day now. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better and confidence is back and just playing my style of game again. I, I love it here. I mean, great atmosphere. The fans are always great. There's always a good team. Greg's an amazing owner. Um, I've never played for this coach before, but uh, what, what we've had so far in the first couple weeks, it's been great. It's been amazing. Uh, the team really clicks well. Uh, on, on, and on, off the ice. We have a really good time together, and it's uh, it's nice. It feels like a little tight commit, tight knit community. The motto is I really go by is uh, never give in or never give up, and that's one of my main things. Is uh, I noticed as why I was injured. You know, there's some pretty dark moments, and there's some pretty uh, some pretty bad times where you know I, I didn't want to play again, or I didn't know if I was going to fully walk again, or if I was going to be able to skate again. So I just really think you know just stick with it and stay strong and. No matter what, you know, you can always uh, accomplish the goals you want to accomplish. I've been playing for what now, I'm 25, so I've been playing for like 22 or 23 years. I think that it's just one of those things I'm just so used to playing and I'm so used to a set schedule for hockey like I was my whole entire life, school hockey or hockey or juniors or pros now. Um, I think you're just so used to it that it's, it's just hard to want to give it up or stop. It just You have a passion for the game and I just I love it.